Oh, hello there. You're back to see more of this, are you? Ha, <laughs> great. Uh, you are recording, are you not? If you are not, that would be really awkward. I'm not really sure that you are. But, obviously, you are because you're seeing this person. And thank you for seeing it also. Your viewership is appreciated. Sound, but the episode's not over yet. Just, you know, that's what I usually say at the end of episodes, or what I started saying sometimes at the end of episodes, but it's not over. It's over for you, Mandalorian Commando. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's over for you too, is it? Hey, okay, quick shot. And. I just leg shotted you just so I could make sure I can quick shot you. Ah, oh, I don't even need to dirty kick you, but I don't care. You're dead. Yep. Dirty kick of death. <laughs> I just dirty kicked and blaster whipped you face. You to death. Now you look at you prancing around there. You think you own the place? Oh. Oh. Hold on. I need need to get in range. Roll into cover. And blow him up. Quick shot. Did I even work? What's this thing's range anyway? 35 meters? Sounds good. Alright, where are we, huh? Ah, we're almost there. Hey, Commando. Ooh, Marksman! Hey, hey, bro. You think you're hidden over there? I see you. But you can't see me. Koso, I almost hit you, man. Look, you look like an idiot over there. There's not even any reason for me to do that. I just love doing it. I love launching people backwards. What can I say? And... Dead. Oh, yeah. 54 credits. Alright. Accessing. Cutscene begin. Aw. Oh, you got what's coming to you, didn't you, Hackett? Oh! Oh! Oh. Yes, applaud. Applaud. Yeah, I did well, didn't I? Keep on. Don't, don't stop. Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it. There aren't more of you? What, there aren't more of you, Iron Fist? I thought you were like ten of... Ten Iron Fist. I thought you were like a ten-man army. No, there's just one of you. One man with that huge reputation. Surrender. Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Yeah, it's gonna... Change the view of the situation. I guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. <laughs> like you're completely sane. Get back to work. Vape? I, I'm not aware of what vape means, okay? Hold on. Nothing personal, but you are boss, so let's be completely safe here and get behind some cover. That looks safe. Alright, Corso. Move in. For the kill. You know, attack button. Press that attack button, Corso. Not gonna press itself. Alright, I did it. Did it for you. It's fine. Anytime, bro. Anytime for a bro. Alright. And. Oh, you you shooting your baby rockets at me, are you? Is that supposed to scare me? I can do the cool head move. Hey, guys. Welcome to the party. Um, it's fine. Just sit back and watch the show. You know, he doesn't need you. I mean, yeah. He's a coward. He thinks he needs you guys. I mean, he does. Yeah, you said that after you were dead. Awkward. Ooh, I just love the blaster whip. I'm kind of messed up, I guess. Hold on, I'll talk to you, Hackett. Right after I loot this guy. 
Because he's got blueness out of him. You know, when you see blueness coming out of somebody, you know they're carrying something good. Like an Outrunner's D88 blaster pistol. Yeah, just like the other one I'm carrying. Should be great. Not for me. But, Corso here, he could use an upgrade. Couldn't you, bro? There, you sure you want their prototype hoodies enforcement blaster? Or do you want the Outrunner's D88 blaster pistol? Hmm? I'm pretty sure it's a little bit better. Look at that. Rating 36 versus... Rating thir 32. Check this out. You'll thank me later. Thank me later. And... Look, it's even... What is it? Green color crystal? It looks kind of orange to me, but whatever. Whatever. It looks awesome. You know, it almost looks like a real gun. It does actual damage. You know, that's actually real. What is this? Nylite kit? Quit? Kit? Kilt? A kilt? I don't need a kilt. What a kilt? Whoa! That's, a, that's some serious damage on that, isn't it? Rating 38? You want that instead? Hold on. Hold on. What was that? 37, 47 to 86 damage? Yeah? And what's this one? 55 to 83? Oh yeah, that's more, right? What about its stats? 14 endurance, 16 cunning. Hundred six. I don't know. That might be better, actually. Yeah, that, that's. I'm pretty sure that is a better. That's probably better for you, Corso. I don't know if this is the right choice, but you probably should have been having this all along. Yeah, I don't care. Put that on. Yeah. All right, we're all set up now, aren't we? Okay, even if this thing modded out, it's not as good as that, is it? What about this kilt, though? Will power, legs, nah. Even his pants are better than that, aren't they? Are they? Hold on, that's actually almost better than mine. 58 armor, 90, nah. It sucks. Alright. Cool. We're done here. We're done equipping. Hey, man, I know you've just been watching me over there and just doing whatever I want with that guy's corpse, but... Hold on, guys. What are you doing still holding that gun? I took that. Alright. Chill, bro. You'll be, you'll be coming back to life to li relive your death over and over and over and over again. Every time somebody comes and plays this map, these cellies, ten of them are now, you'll get another chance at life and death for the rest of time. Sleep well. Out of range? What can I shout? Here. Am I in range now? I better be in range now. I'm like in you. <laughs> First officer Hawking, do you have any spare sh shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't. Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilburn's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. Oh, oh, oh! I get it. That's why we couldn't just hyperspace out of here. That tractor beam's been holding us. Oh, it makes sense now. I'm an idiot. Tractor beam. Well, let's go disable that. I'm in. A bit of fancy flying followed by some daring heroics. You've come to the right person. I knew we could count on you. I've been aboard warships like Kilbrins. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. You sound suspicious. We need every advantage we can get. What are you thinking of, Hackett? Is that even your name? I'm thinking of Admiral Hackett. 
What's your name? I mean, it's by the same company, right? Bioware, Mass Effect, and they made that too. Sounds like a plan. Who's your name? Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Yeah, let's move. Move that. Good luck out there. We're off Hacken. All right, your name is Hacken. Okay. Yeah, Admiral Hackett's a lot more epic than you, Hackett. That makes sense. No, I mean, no offense, but you know, there's probably like one other person who's as epic as Admiral Hackett on live currently living, and that's his voice actor, probably. You know, just because he did the voice. Hold on. Let us have a moment of silence. All right, let's move on. Well, that's going to end this episode, I do believe. I think we've had enough, have we not? And if we have not, and I'm pretty sure we haven't, because I'm going to keep recording. And in other episodes that are coming right after this one, and if you want to keep watching, I wouldn't blame you, because this is pretty awesome. I mean, these cellies, watch all these episodes at once. It's all, string them all together, you know, it's just it's an adventure. So, if you want to watch the next episode, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching this one. And goodbye.